first two rows are done. It took me six wheelbarrows. You know, that's kind of an inexact measure. So it was three per bed, 100 foot bed. Uh, maybe it's not quite enough. You know, really that depends on the quality of the compost that's going on there. Maybe I should spread it a little bit thicker. Really a hard thing to estimate on what you're doing. But I know I came out mostly what I should have, so it's, it's gonna increase the load that's on there. The fact that we have the kind of soil that we have right now, I'm suspecting because it hasn't grown vegetables and, and had to do a lot of growing of things before, and this is not a heavy rain climate, that there are a lot of nutrients that haven't been taken out of the ground by high intense uh, vegetables and other things that we grow that use a lot of nutrients and it hasn't been leached out by the rain. So there's probably a fairly good amount of nutrients already there. What I'm putting on is about 10% and so for calculating that uh, we'll insert the uh, formula that I used. It's a simple formula figure our beds are two and a half feet wide, 30 inches wide, so I'm using the inches, and they're 100 feet long, which is 1,200 inches. And I want the first two inches of soil to be about 10% compost. And so when you multiply that um, 30 inches times 1,200 inches times two inches, you come up with the total number of cubic inches and then you divide that by, and I'm trying to remember the number, I think it's 1272, 12 times 12 times 12. So you divide the total cubic inches by how many cubic inches in a cubic foot, and you come up with right at 25 cubic feet, approximately. So 25 cubic feet is a little bit less than a yard of compost that I'd need for, um, I forgot one thing, we have six six beds that we're doing, so I multiply times six as well in there. Duh, okay. That's where I came up with the bigger number. And so it, it comes out to around four cubic yards per bed. So in total, it's like 24 cubic yards, 25 cubic yards, because it's four point something per, per bed. So those numbers are very exact. It sounds, you know, how are you gonna do that? Well, let me tell you, when you have compost in a wheelbarrow and you're spreading it with a shovel, the measurements are gone at that point. You just kind of have to have a feel for what do you think 10% would look like. I mean, you get to the end of the row, see how you came out. I came out with three wheelbarrows per row. So a bit under. So what I'll plan to do is some side dressing after things start growing because once we get the worms happening and we're watering it regular it's going to pull those nutrients down the water will pull it down the worms and the other biology that goes on will come up grab that good stuff and pull it on down into the soil where we need it around the roots to help things grow so that's how it's going to work break time for me right now and then i'm going to see how far i can get on the other four rows that I need to do, four beds that I need to do. Um, I may run out of compost and have to go get some more, but I know where I can do that. Almost finished with the third and fourth row. I'm gonna be close, real close to out of compost, so I'm gonna have to go get more for the last two rows. Kind of expected that. Um, no real experience with the different things that I'm working with here. The size of the beds, the type of compost, the size of the wheelbarrow. So a lot of estimations going on there. Obviously I didn't have enough. Almost finished, so I'll let you see the last little bit on this row. Heat of the day going on. Um, hauling it and shoveling it. Um, it's tiresome and I'm going to take another break after these two rows.
Oh, looks like I got started on the fifth row. Goody for me. A little bit of rest. Go get another load of compost. And I'll get this finished up tonight as it cools down a little bit. I'm excited about what this garden's going to do. Here we are. Afternoon storm is coming in. <laughs> um, that's but we common had an for this time of year. Day. We did. The sunshine was yeah, no, so a gorgeous day. Beautiful. A little warm, warmer than I've been used to. He's a good boy. He always wears long sleeves. Covered up. Covered well, they up. they they, they see saw it. You. Yeah. I just want to show you. I got enough vitamin D out of the sun, and I didn't overdo it, so I good. kept my skin healthy. Good, good, good. I want to show you our garden down here. This this has been removed from the shower, and it's been out here for a couple days. A couple days now. So that we can, well, for one thing, get it out of the shower. <laughs> yeah, it's it's <laughs> ready. Our shower it's ready to go in the ground. Yeah, so it we, needs to be. Um, we're really excited about what Jim's done today, and I wasn't here. I was off doing some other stuff. Yesterday we had a delightful, delightful evening Visit. with our friends that are homestead viewers. Too many of you and um, Connie and Tim. Hello and thank you for a wonderful conversation and, yesterday. And we're actually trying out their compost. It's They have some compost, a huge pile of compost. Two years old. Two years old and they, uh, I've helped them out a little bit so they're letting us have some and we're going to help them and out some more. You're going to help them some more. Uh, it's good looking compost and we're excited to see how well it does. Not really other sources of bulk compost around here, so it, it was a good situation Yay for us. Yay for friends. Yes. Instant friends. Lovely friends. One of the friends we love. So, <laughs> uh, it's so great to be able to sit down and eat food that we have the same likeness for, to look at books that we both like and recognize and understand like-minded people are so incredible and, and we found out that there is a farm to fork restaurant yes. in town we're so excited to go it's, try it's it. not extremely advertised so i had tried to find it on the the web by doing searches and they do have a website but they don't show up as farm to fork so they may need a little seo help i just want you to know that no matter where you're at in a small town or a large town that you can have a food movement and they have an incredible start on it here and we're so excited to be part of it so ground floor i mean this this yeah, is grassroots I mean, kind of stuff it sounds like there and make it happen remember we do real food exercise emotional wellness but we encourage it to be done on a homestead she forgot exercise what i did I not i said fitness i did okay didn't i i'll have to play it back and see <laughs> real food exercise and wellness emotional wellness okay i'm pretty sure i i always i have to emphasize it that's all <laughs> and he finally got the weights out today so we are actually headed back to denver this week so we may not get videos out the way we're supposed to get them out this week because we're traveling to take care of this hand that is not being very nice to me it's Pretty well, this is deformed. an appointment that was made a few months ago. Yeah, this is the 10 week checkup post yeah. po post surgery, and it I'll probably end up following up in the Salt Lake area, getting some new doctors and s seeing what we need to do because I don't have use of my hand, I don't have grip. Well, and Denver's a long way to go. Yeah. I mean, this was already scheduled, so in, instead of trying to jump doctor to doctor in the midst of this we felt it was better to do this appointment if there is a problem and uh, then we have to decide go with different doctors stay with that doctor so we so. get to see our kids again this weekend we're really yeah. this week this week we're very excited about that and we just want to encourage you eat real food exercise be emotionally well which means take care of yourself give yourself goodness and grow Absolutely. Grow, grow, grow. We will see you later on. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.